Aspirants who are preparing to crack CSIR UGC net examination have to watch this video because in this video we are going to focus about the examination pattern as well as the syllabus. So why is this essential for you to know because this is going to make your preparation much more easier as well as it will give you a good insight about how the examination is structured. Although you might be having a brief perspective about what are the subjects but you should be able to know what are the topics as well in order to make your preparation much more advanced. So how can you access all of this information in one space? You can have all of this in one website in one page itself that is from examstartfreshesnow.com. So before we head forward to all the details, I would like to welcome you all to our channel Freshes Now, where we provide informative videos regarding entrance exams. So now let us see as to how you can access it on your own. So all you have to do is head over to Google and search for CSIR UGC net syllabus freshes now as you search uh, you can see the first link itself is going to be re redirecting to exams.freshers now give a click on this and this particular page will be opening up for you starting off with a basic introduction about the exam and further you would be knowing a briefs that is like the exam is going to be on objective type basis and it has three different parts with multiple papers in between so etc so all of that is going to be uh, begin here so the main points that you have to note down are the test would be consisting in three parts which would be in objective basis or multiple choice questions and for every paper in between or every section in between or every sectional papers in between you would be having no breaks so likewise you have to make sure that you are advancing your preparation so before we head forward don't forget to join us through telegram as well just like you clicking the subscribe button below you have to join us through telegram because instant news regarding entrance exams are provided in telegram so don't forget to join us so let us look into the overview uh, this examination is conducted by national testing agency and this is from council of scientific and industrial research so as we also consider as csir ugc net examination and this would be on computer based multiple choice questions here is the official website access in case if you want to cross check any of the information regarding this exam you can always cross verify directly with the official website so the access is given here the examination pattern sectional wise is presented to you in a clear table format with parts paper and marking scheme criteria as well so everything is given in one go so the total number of questions for chemical sciences uh, for part A you have 20, for part B you have 40, for part C you have 60. In total you have 120 questions. The maximum number of questions that you need to attempt are 75. So 75 which gives under the totality of part A 15, part B 35 and part C you have 25. For marks for each of the correct answer you would be given part A every correct answer carries 2 marks. Part B also it is the same. Part C you have 4 marks for every correct answer. So for 120 questions, 200 marks is the marking scheme that they have given. And for every incorrect answer, there is a negative marking. So for part A, 0 0.5. Part B also it is the same. But for part C, for every wrong answer, 1 mark will be deducted. Next off you have for Earth, Atmosphere, Ocean and Planetary Sciences. There will be again 3 parts with a total of 150 questions for total questions for part A are 20, part B are 50, part C is 80. Here again you have the maximum number of questions that you need to attempt are 75 and the marking scheme is for 200. Part A uh, you have to attempt 15 questions, part B 35, part C you have 25. There is a negative marking as well in this particular subject as well. For every correct answer you would be awarded 2 marks in part A and part B. For part C 4 marks would be awarded. For negative marking 0 0.5 in part A and part B. 1.32 marks would be deducted for every wrong answer. Next for life sciences you have in total 145 questions and you have to minimum answer or maximum the questions that you have to answer are 75. Part A you have 
20 questions part B 50 part C you have 75 0.5 is a negative marking for part A and part B one mark for a, deducted for every wrong answer in part C next you have for mathematical sciences again 120 questions 200 marks here in part C you don't have any negative marking but in part A and B you have 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 the total number of questions in part A are 20 part B 40 part C is 60 minimum or maximum questions that you need to answer are 60 marking criteria is for 200 physical sciences the total questions are 75 and you have to maximum answer the questions on 55 and the marking criteria is for 200 here you have a good sum of uh, negative marking as well now the total questions in part a are 20 part b are 25 part c is 30 for every correct answer you would be given two marks for part a 3.5 marks for part b and five marks for every correct answer in part c and here the negative marking is Part A is 0 0.5, Part B 0 0.875, Part C you have 1.25. This is the total for all of the subjects as you can see for physical sciences, mathematical sciences, planetary sciences etc. So we have covered all of the different sectional papers with different parameters of marking. Now, part A is considered to be common under all the subjects. The questions would be on general aptitude with the emphasis of logical reasoning, graphical analysis, analytical uh, numerical ability, quantitative comparisons, series formations, puzzles, etc. Now, part B would have subject related uh, conventional multi choice questions or MCQs. And for part C, you have high order questions which would be testing your scientific knowledge concepts and also the questions would be related to analytical basing uh, scientific questions and they would be actually looking into the application of your scientific knowledge and the test will be conducted in Hindi as well as in English so it depends upon your choice of taking the examination and candidates the more number of questions that you answer you have to also be aware about the marking criteria that you are looking ahead and here you have the subjects of the test the subject code just to give you a quick analysis 701 is the subject code for chemical sciences 702 earth atmosphere ocean and planetary sciences 703 is for life sciences 705 is for mathematical sciences and 706 is for physical sciences and next this is the whole section that we have already covered up from the table format so next off we are going to see the syllabus now part a as we have said it is a common subject consisting of the reasoning type of questions the topics that you have to consider for preparation are analogies directions coding and decoding classifications alphabet series analytical reasoning number series blood relations arrangement statements uh, similarities and differences uh, symbols and notations nonverbal reasoning data analysis for quantitative aptitude you have permutations and combinations simplifications number systems time and speed uh, hcf and lcm algebra percentages time and work uh, bar graph uh, pictorial graph pie chart ratio and proportions profit and loss now for data interpretation and also the graphical analysis uh, mode graphical analysis of bar graph line graph and mean median mode measures of dispersions now for part b and c for earth sciences you have the earth and solar system interiors of earth deformation and tectonics earth materials salon features and processes environmental earth sciences for geology uh, you have uh, mineralogy structures of geology and geotonics then uh, sedimentology geochemistry physical geography economic geology quantitative geology geophysics metrology and ocean sciences for physical sciences under uh, you have the first one is mathematical methods of physics quantum me mechanics classical mechanics electromagnetic theories theodynamic statistical physics electronics and experimental methods for chemical sciences you have inorganic chemistry physical chemistry catalyst and medicinal organic inorganic environmental supermolecular chemistry so one such co which is elemented into different sectors or different routes which is having its own sub relevant topics 
Next you have for life sciences, you have molecular and interactional element to biology, developmental biology, cell communications and cell signals, ecology, uh, principles, diversity of life norms, system psychology of animals, plants, evolutions and their behaviors, applied biology, inheritance of biology, fundamentals and their processes and how you can apply biology in real life. Then you have for mathematical sciences, working from the basic uh, concepts like analysis, uh, linear algebra, uh, complex analysis, partial differential of the equations, linear integral equations, numerical series, classical mechanics, deprivative statistics, etc. Further, if you have any questions regarding this, don't forget to place them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope that you have got a clear perspective about CSIR UGC net examination pattern as well as the topics that you have to consider for preparation. Well, don't forget to subscribe as well. Click on the subscribe button below and stay tuned for more informative videos from Precious Now. Thank you.